everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and Mr. Nubbins. Hi Nubby. And if this is your first time here, hi. I sure hope it won't be your last. What am I here to share with you today? Well, it's another orange bag, but it's not my orange bag. No, this one, one of my kiddos ordered, Riley, and I have no idea what they ordered. They did open it so they could look in, but I have not looked in yet. So let's look in together and find out what Riley got. All right, so first there's something green peeking out. I may not even know what all these items are for. Um, okay, it looks like a big pooper scooper for a litter box, right? It is not. Um, this one is for the kitchen, and these items have not even been taken out of their plastic yet because Riley looked in to make sure the order was complete, but didn't take anything out so that I could see that. All right, so this is actually, let me get my trash can. This is actually for cooking, so you can strain stuff. Like if you're, say, boiling eggs, you could, you know, get your eggs and the water would, um, would drain out or vegetables or whatever. So that's what this one is for. Now I'm going to do my best to have the prices up here, up here, which is whichever side. Um, but since I didn't order them, I may, I may not be able to find the exact items and it may make it difficult, but I'm going to do my best and I'm going to move things on my desk so I don't mix my things up with Riley's things because I just unbox, unboxed an order of mine and um, I'm trying not to mix things together. All right, next looks like some items that are the same. Looks like they have four of them. So we'll just look at one and it says back hanging design so this it shows is a uh, over the door hanger with some hooks and it's different than the ones that you usually see i like these maybe i'm going to have to get some for myself although most of my doors already have something hanging on them because i have little storage and i utilize all the space including the backs of doors fronts and backs. some of them have front and back things hanging but look at this hanger okay so it's going to go over the door uh, this way and then you're going to have hooks here where you can hang things so what do they suggest you hang they hang things like they have an umbrella and purses and you can just hang anything. You can hang hangers. You can hang whatever you need to off of it, right? Uh, excuse me. Usually you see hangers that hang this away and the hooks go down. But this one goes this direction. So you could hang multiple ones on the same door if you needed to. That's pretty neat. i put that back in the plastic for Riley because, again, this is Riley's order. And probably it would be nice if I return things to the plastic when I'm able the scoopy I couldn't, but this I can. All right, so they got four of those. Um, what is this? I would say these are meant to be dishcloths. You know, like washcloths for your dishes, I think. Oh, wow, they're like a microfiber. I think that's what these are for. If they're not, you tell me. So there are several of them. Let's count them. One, two, three of each collar. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe I miscounted. One, there's three pink. One, two, three pink and gray. Pink on one side, gray on the other. Oops. Three of that one. And they're... Um, like cut like with pinking shears around it so like a zigzag or scalloped edge and they're very very soft it's not the microfiber that grabs onto your rough hands that i like so there's three pink one two three that are kind of a green see like a seafoam green color and gray but then there's four so i'm not sure if there was meant to be four Maybe they're supposed to be 10, I don't know. And that's purple and gray. 
So those are nice. I might have to get those as well. Those would be nice. I wonder how much these things cost. I don't know, but you should know. I should have the prices uh, up for you. As long as I can find the same items. If not, I really do apologize in advance. Because I didn't order them. I don't have them in my email. But um, I can ask Riley to please forward me their order information, their uh, email. But whether or not they will is another story. Because they are really busy. Yeah, it does say 10 pieces, so that was deliberate. I thought maybe there was supposed to be nine. All right, next item. All right, they also got some of these uh, things to go in the refrigerator. Now, I need to tell you, the ones in my order are not large enough. So it's taking two on a shelf, and they're going in this direction, and then there's a little gap in between. So, and I only had four, so I'm going to have to see if there's a larger size. These are look like they're smaller yet than mine. But there are, doesn't say, this, I think is smaller, maybe it's the same size, I, I think they're smaller, I'm trying to get it open to count how many's in it, uh, but I just know mine are way too small for my needs, and I'm going to use them instead to line the drawers, and then I'm going to get larger ones, if they make them, if they have them. Oh, th these are larger, so obviously they do. There's only two in here, and they're folded in half. Well, no, I think they're about the same size. I don't know. Um, all I know is mine are way too small. So anyways, they're folded in half, and they're this size, and as you can see, I, or maybe you can, they have these uh, raised bumps on them. Maybe you can see them better through this direction. I can't tell. But anyways, so it makes it nice. You, you can clean your, this, you can take it out and clean it rather than take apart your whole refrigerator like like my sister had to do to mine last night because my sister is my uh, home health aide. She's not really my sister. She We are as close as sisters, maybe even closer than sisters. And... Um, Anyway, she had to take my whole refrigerator apart last night because chicken leaked all inside my refrigerator. It was a total disaster. And thank you, Stacy. I love you. I know that was a nightmare. Thank you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Um, so, but she put the ones in there that I got, and um, we intend to look for larger ones. I'm going to actually measure my refrigerator and try to get ones in fit. Ones that fit. I can speak clearly that would be great all right so Riley got them in the blue but also in the pink and the green and they're the same size so that's pretty cool and then when they're saying what shelf to one of the the kids they can say the pink shelf or you know what shelf anyway just being goofy then we have something in here that looks like it's right up my alley. All right. Hand wipe teacup girl blue. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Maybe even better. <laughs> so, let me get it open and see what it is. It is like a vinyl apron, guys. There's a girl with a teacup, or coffee cup in my case, holding it up to her face like, ah, oh, coffee, right? Let me get up so you can see. So it is an apron that is, like I said, vinyl, so it would wipe clean easily. See her there holding her cup against her face like, ah, oh, coffee. Um, and then there's ties that go around the back and a pocket in the front. Can you see that? But look at this. This is like a terry cloth material on both sides. And it's meant to wipe your hands on when you're working. Like a towel, instead of getting it all over your clothes or whatever, you can just right there. Now, my question 
for this would be how easily does this wash though if you're going to be washing your wiping your dirty hands on here and this is kind of a more vinyl-y, like raincoat like material or, or a windbreaker jacket kind of material how, how well is it going to wash through the washer i would put it through the washer on a delicate cycle and hang it up to dry i wouldn't put it through your dryer because obviously you might um fry your melt your stuff is that sewn on or stuff on no it is sewn on so anyways here is the little part that you wipe your hands on and if you can see it's like a really soft terry cloth i have cats i have a cat in the bag knocking it over and a really nice pocket here and that girl like i was telling you see is that not cute that is right up my alley and actually i would like to get one i'm going to ask riley how well it holds up to the wash um but i would like to get one of these that is really neat i love the idea of that um terry cloth on the sides to wipe your hands on that is really awesome I would like to get that for myself. Riley, you picked really neat items. So far, so good. All right, I'm trying to fold it back up the way it was and put it back in Riley's package, but, you know, I'm not doing such a good job. But I am going to put it back in the package so it doesn't get messed up. Best I can. I have a cat in Riley's bag. Can you guys? Try to be good just for a minute. Huh? Baby Newt. Baby Newt. Yeah? What are you doing? Are you trying to get into trouble? Are you trying to get into trouble? Oh, baby Newt. Oh, baby Newt. Alright. Next item that's coming out. Oh, okay. There's something inside of it rattling around okay let's get it open and then i'll show it to you i've seen these but when i saw them they were green and they kind of looked like a cactus this one is orange and so it doesn't look much like a cactus this is a thing like you put on your wall it's got a clear sticky if you can see that sticks on the back double-sided that sticks, sticks on the back there so you can stick this on the wall near like your outlet and your phone, I don't have my phone, I'm sorry. Your phone sits in here and it's got a hole where the charging cord comes out. And so you stick it near your wall, uh, your wall outlet so that you can charge your phone and, you know, uh, you can find it. And, and um, it stays on the cord and cats don't knock it down or whatever, whatever the the reason so it's not taking up space on your bedside table like mine does and then my cats knock mine down and it goes under the bed and then i'm having to pull it out pull the, by the cord and pray that the phone is still attached to the end of the cord because i can't get under the bed like clear in the middle I, why they take it clear to the and you know the middle of the bed i think you know they're calling their their friends or something under there I, I don't know. So that's a really neat gadget. I might have to get myself one of those. Oh, there's another one. Looks like another one. Well, they have three kids, so maybe this is meant for the kids, for their phones. That would make sense. All right. Then we have some kind of plastic clips. You look at it and try to guess what it is. Okay, I know what it is. All right. These are little plastic clips. Let me get one out of the bag. And it's got 3M um, stick, you know, double-sided stuff inside of here to hang them, say, on your desk or on your wall. So there's your 3M double-sided foam. But then there is a whole bunch of clear... Let me get one out. And they are clear, so it may be hard to see. Can you kind of see it? Um, those you use for your cords, say your charging cords or, you know, computer cords or whatever. To keep them from becoming a jumbled up mess, you put them, say, 
on the back side of your desk so you can put the cords and they can come up and over in the back of your computer and not being behind there getting all tangled up or um, put it on the side of your desk for your charging cords for like your your cell phone and things or uh, other devices whatever um, on the back of your TV stand for your if you still have a DVD player I do um, or your uh, game consoles or whatever so that your cords stay put and don't get pulled on and um, stay they don't get tangled like all my studio lights which I have forgotten to turn on um, <laughs> something like that speaking of let me go turn this on um, or you can put them on the walls too or other pieces of furniture hey can you see me better now all right so you might be able to see the items better now too. Let me hold that up again, um, that little thing, because maybe you can see it better now that my studio lights are on. Sorry, it's morning, so I'm not really um, thinking the best here. All right, so anyways, there's like a loop here and a loop here, and your cords go, it's got like an opening, so your cords can go, you can feed them up through there. And one opening is on this side and one opening is on this side so that they stay in better. I hope I've been in frame the whole time. But, uh, yeah, it'd be easier if they weren't clear, but the reason they're clear is so that they don't stand out so bad on your wall or your furniture, right? So that's that. Um, okay, think about this a minute. Oh, okay, I get it. I'm like, what am I looking at? All right, this is also something I've wanted to possibly get for myself. And that is this big thing. See, this comes open and you put your bags from the grocery store or whatever store on there. Oh, it's got a button. I did not realize that so that it comes open easier. And you string your bags on there so that when you carry it in, it's got a handle here and the, the um, button goes on the top. And all your bags hang here, like from, say, Walmart or whatever. And you don't um, cut into your hands. And, man, I don't can't tell you how many times I've carried in stuff and my fingers turn purple and numb it, because I'm carrying things that are too heavy and too many of them, which I'm not even supposed to carry anything that weighs more than a gallon of milk. Shh, don't tell my doctor. I do occasionally, and then I end up with all kinds of chest pain. And anyways, and numb fingers. So this carries your bags. That's neat. I want one of these, or a couple of these. Would probably be even better. So that's what that little doodad is. What do we have next? Two things. Okay. Um, this is a like a silicone scraper to use in your kitchen. Um, maybe I mean, you can use this for anything that you would use a um, even a spatula for probably it's got a hole here but this end this is plastic and then this is uh, more of a um, silicone and so you could use this for any like you could even like you're cleaning your dishes um, if stuff got stuck on, on because see there's like a more pointed where you can get into the corners and cracks and more rounded so you could use this for anything. You could use it to um, uh, frost a cake, butter toast, whatever. Uh, stir your stuff. Or you could use it to scrape things and clean it. Just don't use it to scrape things and clean it and then not wash it real well before you use it with food. Um, probably all kinds of uses for that little gadget. I'm going to put that back in the plastic. Um, what is this thingy? garbage bag holder. Aha! It says on it. Thank you. Well, hopefully Riley doesn't get mad if I open the plastic. This has a like part that you put over your door, say your um, cabinet door in your kitchen. And then this part has Like a little clippy and you put take that off and you put the bag over the green part and then you put the white part over top of the bag to hold the bag in place see and then you have a 
bag attached to your cabinet door, like so, and you can scrape your trash or whatever in there so you're cutting vegetables or something like that. That's a nifty thing. I have one that's not near this nice, and my bags tend to want to have a big gap and stuff goes out the gap, so I quit using it. I'm gonna get one like this because I cut a lot of vegetables, and then I won't have to take my trash can back and forth the kitchen. I can just use that, then take the bag out and throw the bag in the trash. That is awesome. Did you see it? So here's the part that goes over the door. And there's the little clippies. And the bag goes between the white layer and the green layer. So. That's not going to go back in its bag. Oh well. This is, um, you could use this for paper quilling. Or it is meant for origami stars. I'm not going to open it. Um, but it's little pieces, see the pieces of paper, they're strips, they're joined together up here and you just peel them off like, you know, from a notepad and you can make, it even has the instructions on the back. I would not be able to follow these instructions because I'm not good at origami, but Riley actually can make these origami stars, uh, learned to do it when they took Chinese in high school and they learned a lot of origami things in that class. So anyways, there's a rainbow of colors there, as you can see, and I would imagine she's, uh, they're probably going to teach the kids how to make rain, the origami stars. Hi, Bugatti. Hi. Hi, sir. Mm. Mm, my angel. Mm. Let's not get up there, okay? Because you'll knock it down and be at the avalanche of stuff. Uh, okay, this, if I'm not much mistaken, is a toilet bowl cleaner thing to go like, it's got this bend in it so the brush can go like under that lip real easy, you know, what I'm talking about where the water comes out of uh, the top and also to clean around the um, hinges of the toilet lid and things like that. So there's that item. That is what I think it's for. But if I'm mistaken, you tell me. I wouldn't use it for your toilet and then use it for other cleaning, but maybe you could use it for other cleaning if you didn't use it for your toilet. But I think that's what that's for. Uh, sorry. Cat hair. This is a little pocket notebook that says notebook on it. Let me get it open. This is cute. All right, so it's got a plasticky cover on it. And the, see where it says notebook? And then the pages flip open and yeah, it's lined paper. Quite a lot of paper in there. And so it's got like a vinyl-y plasticky cover. Cool. Take that along to appointments and stuff like that. and or on the go journaling or looks like they've got another one okay it's it's the same well it's a little different oh I'll, I'll open it oh it's got a clear cover on it all right so it's just another small pocket notebook it says on it smiling you are always gonna be my love okay that's what that says on the front, but it's got a clear back on it. It's got lined paper. The front is clear also, but it goes over a piece of paper there, and then it starts the writing paper. So, cute little pocket notebook. Ugh, I'm having chest pain. Not good. All right. So next item is remote magnetic cable. All right. This is one of those uh, phone charging cables that 
has the different ends that are, I, it's got a sticker over it, so, but it's got the different kind of charging ends that magnets to it, but then the cable can move around, you know, swivel around. Let's see if I can open it without losing anything. All right, so it's, I don't want to lose the ends. So the cable is purple, and then it's got these little magnetic charging ends. I gotta be real careful not to lose it. There's one, two, three different kinds of ends on it. I'm, I don't want to lose, it's not mine. If I would lose something, that would be a problem. Um, and it looks like the cable is pretty long. Does it say how long? Uh, uh. It says 540 degree free rotation, max 2.4A charging current, iOS, micro, and type C charging ends. But I don't see how long the actual cable is, but it looks like it's pretty long. Um, looks like it may be two meters. All right, that's cool. I have a cat in the bag. Excuse me, I need stuff out of it, including you. We have another, looks like, notebook. Open the book today and count the money tomorrow. Study. That's what it says on the front. I'm going to get the plastic off of it. Again, hoping that Riley doesn't get mad that I take the plastic off of stuff. It's a little hard for me to review it if I don't get it where I can see it, right? Or you can't see it. All right. It's got little dumplings or something on it. And these little dumplings have books. And then it's got kind of a corner. <laughs> That's interesting. Also, uh, lined paper, a lot of lined paper, a lot of it. And there's a little dumpling with a book on its head on the back. That's interesting. I like that. That's pretty neat. And then there's a cat in the bag. Excuse me, sir, but I need you to get out of there. Mr. Nubbins. I don't know if there's anything else in the bag. There's something. And I could reach it. All right. This is just a, bit, a bunch of S hooks. I'm not going to open it because they may fall out that you can put like over a bar and then hang something from the hook or something or maybe even over a door I'm not sure but can you see those I hope I know my light is shining on them there's a bunch of them in there let me see if it says how many 12 there's 12 S hooks in there here's something these are stainless steel spoons that are shaped like shovels that is funny I've seen these on the site uh, cat hair on my face guys there's two of each style so I'll just take one of each out to show you because they're in plastic and then in plastic again because Tim is pretty serious about um, keeping stuff safe so see here's two I'm not showing you and then here are the two that I am so they they have like the handles and then the shovel part there's a squared one and a more pointy one and they're spoons See those? See the shovel ends? And then you've got the handle ends. <laughs> those are funny. Those are cute. All right, I'm put those back in the plastic. I'm not gonna put them in their individual plastic, just in this Ziploc bag so they don't get lost. And I can see at least one more item and then I see a cat. All right, so we have a measuring tape, a retractable uh, measuring tape. Riley does a lot of sewing and a lot of craft type things and DIY stuff. So you pull it out and then you push this middle button and it goes back in. Nifty, pocket size, real handy to have. Now I have a cat. Come on, buddy. Can you please come out? Thank you. Because there is one more item that I couldn't get to. Otherwise, I wouldn't have wanted to bother him. 
Um, I have these, so I'm not going to take them out. I'm going to show them to you, okay, that I have. They're sitting right here. It is five clips that look like a paper clip that goes on your binder, your notebook, your journal, whatever. And it's got, um, see that part there? Um, it can hold your, it goes on the side of the book and then holds your pen. So, I don't have a book here. Do I? Yeah, I do. Well, here, I'll use this little small one. Of course, Riley has ones, but I put them back in their plastic. So, my pen is upside down, but you get the gist. So, your pen doesn't get lost. And see how it's got that? All right. So there's five of those, and obviously we think alike because I have them as well. And so I showed you mine, and I didn't have to open hers and get them lost, or theirs and get them lost. Um, oh, and then the bag split on the side, so hopefully they don't get lost. All right, so that is all of Riley's order. What do you think? I think Riley got some really interesting uh, um, items here, things that I'm going to try to find for myself. And I will put all the links that I can in the description so that if there's something that piqued your interest, you're able to check it out as well. So, uh, what was your favorite item? Um, man, I don't know. I think I really, really like the, um, the apron with the, um, cherry cloth on the sides so that you can wipe your hands. I think I really like that a lot. And um, I just knocked my cake decorating Lazy Susan thing down. Sorry. Um, I liked the dishcloths as well. If they are dishcloths. I think they're dishcloths. Um, that's what I would use them for. So what do you think? Let me know. And I'm repacking the bag because I have to take it back to Riley's house. Um, thank you, Riley, for letting me review your order on my channel. That was very, very nice of you. And guys, with that, please, if you don't mind, give me that big old thumbs up because, you know, that truly does help my channel. It helps that algorithm to know that I have something interesting to share with you. And please, please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. And you don't know, maybe they haven't heard of Timu before and you would be helping them to save money and find really neat, unique items at the same time. And thank you so very much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. And by the way, guys, this braided headband here that looks like hair, it came from Timu also. Uh, which a lot of my things... Oh, and my shoes I have on my feet. I wanted to tell you this, and I almost forgot. This is one of my favorite things I have ordered so far from Timu. These little shoes. I love them, love them love them. They're in one of my other videos, and I'll try to put a link to them in this one. I love those shoes. Um, they do look a little slipper-like because they have that Sherpa-type material, but they are so cute, and they look dressy, and they feel almost like you're not wearing shoes, and they are comfortable. So, with that, I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. I gotta find my lazy Susan that fell on the floor. There it is. I hope it didn't get broken. Also from Tim Moo. And thankfully I didn't break it.